Your return is much appreciated by the CoinSuries channel. Request from viewer is, who is your favorite CEO and who is the best coin for you? You can also comment your opinion. Thank you to all the subscribers of our CoinSuries. Who came to our channel CoinSuries? You will always be info with the latest CoinSuries news. Number 1, CEO Brad Garlinghouse XRP and Ripple. Number 2, CEO Grayscale SEC. Number 3, CEO JP Morgan Bitcoin. Number 4, CEO Brian Armstrong Coinbase. Please like my video and subscribe my channel. A wave CEO Brad Garling's house is blasting the SEC for its failures. Ripple Brad Garling House, CEO, blasted US SEC Chairman Gary Gensler in a statement on Tuesday. I believe Gary Gensler is doing the same thing over and over again, boasted Ripple's CEO, who pointed to the SEC's current losing streak as a political liability. And there's this niggling doubt in his mind that he would win in court. There has been no respite from his legal battles. In reference to the pending litigation, the chief executive officer of Ripple, deemed U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission had Gary Gensler a political burden. It was made public by CNBC on January 16, 2024. Regarding what he sees as the Chancellor's ongoing anti-crypto campaign, Garland House released this statement. The definition of insanity is to repeatedly do an action in the hopes of achieving a different outcome. Statistics compiled by Garling House In September of last year, the SEC's commission levied accusations against Coinbase, Nance Coinbase, and Kraken, the three biggest cryptocurrency exchanges, for allegedly promoting unregistered securities on its websites. The courts have not yet made a decision on the lawsuits. The SEC accused Ripple and its executives of selling XRP cryptocurrency through unlicensed securities offerings in a complaint they submitted in December 2020. In July of last year, Ripple achieved a major win in the SEC issue. When the court determined that XRP is not a security, Ripple won a huge triumph. The request for an interlocutory appeal made by the SEC in October was also denied. Executive Chairman Chris Larson and CEO Brad Garland House were cleared of all remaining charges by the Securities and Exchange Commission just one month after the remedial phase of the Ripple action started. All discovery pertaining to the matter should be finalized by February 12th and the filings that follow will be followed shortly after. Ripple has just asked for an additional two days until January 19 in a motion for extension of time. Joining CEO Brad Garland House at the Bloomberg House in Davos for a talk headlined Crypto at a Crossroads is Carolyn DeFam, a commissioner of the Commodity Futures Trading Commission CFTC, in response to the SEC's request to compel. The Commodities Futures, Options, and swaps markets are regulated by the Commodity Futures Trading Commission CFTC, a federal body. We will prepare our digital assets for the future on Tuesday at 4 p.m. Central and Eastern Europe, Garlinghouse and his relatives will make their grand entrance at the appointed hour. Google will broadcast the event live on YouTube. It's likely that the LFD in 2024 will be massive. Brad Garland went using the handle Brad Garland House on January 16, 2020, while attending the World Economic Forum. The 54th annual meeting of the World Economic Forum, WEF, is currently underway in Davos, Switzerland. Media outlets, social entrepreneurs, civil society leaders, and officials from different international organizations are all slated to attend the five-day conference. The XRP community is ecstatic over the historic July 2023 verdict in the SEC lawsuit that declared XRP not to be a securities. Hearing that Garland House and the CFTC commissioner will be participating in a panel discussion has only added to the buzz. For example, the Bitcoin sector generally views the Food and Drug Administration and the Commodity Futures Trading Commission as more lenient and friendly regulators. This is due to the fact that it treats the majority of cryptocurrencies as commodities rather than stocks, and it has permitted the production and selling of crypto derivatives like as futures and options. In September 2022, the offices of FFT Ripples were visited by the Commissioner of the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, which piqued the interest and excitement of many. Pam reportedly stated that the stop was a part of her educational journey. People are still hopeful that XRP will be seen by everyone in the world, and there is a lot of anticipation right now. 
The conversations between the CFD commissioner and Ripple's CEO will lead to further positive outcomes for the cryptocurrency industry. The statistics show that sentiment for XRP has dropped dramatically after a failed attack on BitPhoenix. Tarp-weighted sentiment has just dropped, which means the partial payments exploit is hurting things. An on-chain analytics company called Santiment recently published an article for X elucidating the reasons behind the general pessimism surrounding XRP. In this case, weighted sentiment is the most important metric. This metric also gets its information from the sentiment balance and the social volume. In addition, Dogecoin is expected to have a 24 surge all the way up to 100. In real time, the first type of social media analyst tracks user sentiment across all themes. To get this score, the indicator reads social media messages using a machine learning algorithm. In order to differentiate between helpful criticism and positive opinions. Another indicator that is pertinent to our topic is social volume, which is the amount of talk about a subject on the major social media platforms right now. The indicator determines this by considering the total number of unique posts or threads that contain some mention of the topic. To better understand weighted sentiment, it can be helpful to compare it to the social volume and sentiment balance. Irrespective of previous statements, this is accurate. The emergence of the weighted sentiment value depends on a large sample size of these posts, which in turn requires a skewed sentiment. You can see the evolution of this XRP indicator in the following chart. In keeping with the pattern of months of hopeful anticipation for XRP, the metric's value seems to have fallen precipitously in the past few days. If the weighted mood is really upbeat. This shows that there is a lot of positive buzz surrounding the item. The graph shows that earlier this month, when XRP was attempting to recover from something that had happened, its upbeat mood was clear. Following that, however, the value of the cryptocurrency indicator plummeted, and it is currently positioned squarely in the negative zone. It should come as no surprise that this demonstrates that social media users have turned negative towards the coin. A failed hack attempt on BitPhoenix is causing XRP to have its worst day in years, according to Santiment. The hacker attempted to take advantage of the cryptocurrency's partial payment system to get the exchange to accept a larger transfer amount, equivalent to half of the asset's circulating supply, than it actually was. However, with the correct settings, Bitfinex was able to read these types of transactions, even though the platform was never vulnerable to the issue. However, the initial confusion just served to reinforce the negative impression of the asset, even though nothing had changed. But historically, the price of XRP has moved in the opposite direction of what most predicted. Meanwhile, XRP might truly profit from this pessimism. Following its earlier this year unsuccessful recovery attempt, XRP has been trading in a flat pattern, presently circling the 576 cent mark. This might be because traders were overly optimistic at the outset, which would be detrimental given how easy it would be for prices to skyrocket right now. It was a total washout today. Please subscribe to my channel, it would mean a lot to me. Until we meet again, goodbye.